This is the Scholar Link News for 26 November 2020. In the wake of recent terror attacks in France, investigations were launched into 37 people, with 16 foreigners having been deported. After French magazine Charlie Hebdo republished caricatures of Prophet Muhammad, it resulted in a spate of attacks in France, which included the beheading of French school teacher Samuel Petty. Local authorities have increased their security activities to preempt any attacks taking place in Singapore. Investigations were conducted on 14 Singaporeans and 23 foreigners for suspected radical inclinations or for making comments that could incite violence. Many of them supported the beheading of Samuel Petty and terrorist attacks. 16 foreigners were deported after the Internal Security Department's investigations were finished, while the remaining seven foreigners are still being investigated. The Singaporeans are still being investigated, but there have been no signs that they were going to conduct terrorist attacks. Singapore's Minister for Home Affairs and Law said that Singapore and France both guarantee freedom of religion, but Singapore believes that the right to act freely must come with the duty to act responsibly. Think about it. Do you think governments should interfere when it comes to potentially sensitive areas such as freedom of religion? Does that contradict with the concept of freedom? In Malaysia, Investigators probing a syndicate made the shocking discovery that a low-ranking immigration officer who owned several luxury cars actually has a criminal record and is believed to be a member of a secret society. His past crimes include auto theft and robbery. This raised questions about how someone with a criminal record was employed in the civil service. Investigators believe that even after being employed in the civil service, he continued with his criminal activities. To date, this investigation has resulted in the arrest of 34 immigration officers, 12 foreign workers' agents, and 10 civilians. The civilians' bank accounts were used to keep illegal proceeds from the syndicate's activities. Think about it. Is it better to use job security and high pay to ensure that civil servants do not become corrupt or to use the threat of stiffer penalties? Or should it be some combination of the two? Although there are private companies trying to provide isolated areas of Indonesia with clean energy, they are struggling against government policies that prioritise the state-owned electricity firm PLN. This is despite PLN only having one-fifth of the required funding. In one case, two companies had plans to electrify 19 villages, but their application for a permit was rejected by the Energy and Mineral Resources Ministry. The reason was that PLN would connect all 19 villages by June. However, the villages were only connected in November, and the electricity has yet to be turned on as the grid cannot meet demand. The government's approach means that many millions of low-income households are not able to get electrical supply. PLN's cash position has been made worse by the current pandemic as they give out relief worth millions of dollars. Where they had a profit last year, they are now suffering a loss. Think about it. There are times when a government monopoly is necessary, but when it is unable to provide for the people's needs, should the law be amended to allow private companies to compete? Major Chinese online music platforms are increasing their efforts to sell paid memberships and offer online live performances during the pandemic. NetEase Cloud Music, an online music streaming service, has launched several live-streamed music concerts to help musicians during the pandemic. With arenas and stadiums shut down during the pandemic, companies like NetEase Cloud Music are willing to cover the expenses such as rental of venues, photography, and live streaming teams for online performances. It has been noticed that the younger generation are willing to pay for copyrighted music and digital music subscriptions. 
Other companies like Tencent Music Entertainment have signed licensing deals with international music companies such as Sony Music Entertainment, Universal Music Group and Warner Music Group to drive the growth of digital music in China. Think about it. What are the reasons driving digital music sales? Is it because of convenience? The lower price of buying songs and watching concerts, etc.? Is it some combination of these reasons? Over in the United States, prior to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention advising Americans not to travel for the Thanksgiving holiday, millions had already bought their tickets. Despite the warnings, they are going ahead with their travel plans and spending the holidays with people from outside their household. To encourage ticket holders not to travel during the pandemic, major airlines have relatively lenient cancellation policies. The country's top infectious disease expert is worried that crowds at the airports due to Thanksgiving travel could lead to more COVID-19 cases. Further, these new cases will come about during the cold weather and December holiday season, a time when the pandemic is expected to get worse. Airlines, for their part, are taking additional measures to sanitize gates and kiosks, shorten lines, and purify the air on planes. Think about it. In such a situation, should the local authorities consider halting all air travel, just as what happened when countries closed their borders? Or are they hoping to avoid further setbacks to the airline industry? This brings us to the end of the news for today. Please subscribe to be notified of our next video. This is ScholarLink saying goodbye and have a wonderful rest of the day.